The simple fact is that the British people deserve to live in an electoral system where every vote counts. Why is it that the vast majority of developed nations use proportional, proportional representation when our electorate is forced to accept second best? Why should our people be forced to accept the fundamentally flawed logic of a system whereby seats in Parliament do not reflect vote share? And why should we have to tolerate tactical voting? Polling found that on the 8th of June, 20 to 30 percent of the electorate voted tactically. Why should we have to put up with a system whereby almost 7 million people felt they had to hold their nose while voting? What does it say about our democracy when millions of people are going to the ballot box and to vote for the least worst option, as opposed to voting for the party or individual they feel will best represent their values, beliefs and interests in this place? Can we really sit here today in the building that is sometimes referred to as the cradle of modern democracy and defend a system that fails to pass the most basic principle of democracy, namely the right of voters to vote for the party or candidate that they actually support. But perhaps most importantly of all, why should the British people have to accept a system that delivers the winner-takes-all political culture that is the root cause of the deeply divided, polarised and fragmented country that we have become. Decades of research from around the world shows that proportional representation correlates with positive societal outcomes, greater income equality, less corporate control, better long-term planning and political stability, fairer representation of women and minorities, higher voter turnout, better environment, laws and a significantly lower likelihood of going to war. For that is the real prize of electoral reform, to build a better politics.